And so, you know, like I said, this, you know, 2006 is the ending of one age and the beginning of, the, of another. And so it can all start in 2006, or they can delay it. They have the red light from September 22nd on mm-hmm. for their alien age, for the arrival of their Antichrist, and, and to take it and run with it. They've got three and a half years from that point. Hmm. Well, all I can say is I'm focusing on the aftermath, which is, I have a whole file that I call uh, the incredible future. Yeah. Well, you have to. You know, you have to. When you work with so much that we both do, so much coming death and destruction and what's going on, you have to have the Lord to hang on to. You go crazy. Yeah. And and everybody everybody is also speaking about how this is going to be a a beautiful, incredible ending. And it will. And even the people who die, even nobody really dies. I mean, we die, you know, in the physical, and we die in the astral, but there's still the soul, and all those people will be brought back, and they're all going to be healed, and it's going to be uh, an incredible. I-, I think it's going to be a kind of a paradise. I do How- see something going on with Mars during that time. I don't know if it's the Lord's forces, his armies himself, that will go and free those people on Mars. There is something going on yeah. with that. I've never talked about it publicly. Uh, or, or there's a lot of things I just don't, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, there's stuff going on. Because the Lord's going to have an army here of 144,000 people. And they're not just going to be going street to street witnessing. They're going to be doing a lot of things. And, and and that being part of it, releasing captives. And I've never talked about that, but it's oh, a big man. part of their agenda as well, is releasing a lot of these captives, getting them free. Oh, I, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, yeah, there's a lot of good things coming out of this. Uh, but there's a lot of things that, you know, we can't handle what's going on in the here and now. <laughs> yeah. You know, w- once the Lord starts taking control behind the scenes and his forces are active against Satan's forces, it's literally going to be a big, huge battle on earth for that three and a half years. They're not going to always get their way. No. They're going to be in their faces. You know, they can kill us, think that they're killing our bodies. We're going to come back bigger and stronger and better than ever. Mm-hmm. We're always going to be in their faces. Right. You know, unfortunately for the majority... I know it's going to be a different story. They may be hidden in the mountains for that that time. The Lord will hide his people. Uh, people believe that it's going to be some mystery rapture. Noah wasn't raptured off the earth, nor was given an ark to be in. He was safe. Mm-hmm. So I believe it's going to be played out either way. People will be hidden. I know Phil, uh, Bill Deagle uh, says he has seen visions of the future where, where the Lord's people were hidden on mountains, tops of mountains. Uh, and, and so there's, there's various things. Just to, just to, it's important not to get locked in to one one theological view um, because the I truth is in all of them the I truth is here the truth is there the truth is here and there and, and so you piece it all together for the final puzzle and then you'll have the entire truth and nobody has that no and no, so it's still it's still uh, there's a lot of pieces missing and uh, we, you know we're, we're all working to figure it out um, because you know I think the end result is a given for me, for what I've heard from everybody across the board, no matter what they believe. Yeah, they believe. talk about how <laughs> it will be beautiful, it will be incredible. Yeah, he, just how it's all, you know, just all the details, though. That's, yeah. that's what I don't have. People don't understand because these aliens are nothing but fallen angels. It's Lucifer and his fallen angels masquerading as ascended masters and aliens from other planets. That's true. He rebelled thousands of years ago against the Lord, and he's coming back for round two. <laughs> coming back I didn't think he ever left yeah he well he never left but yeah cause round two is coming up I and mean, it's been going on for you know behind the scenes but like I said we're going to see a physical manifestation of all the spiritual stuff it's going to come out from behind the scenes to a in your face kind of thing yeah now that's true that I do believe that there is going to be uh, they will be solid I've heard that yeah they will they will be solid and that um, you know it's go- it, they're going to rely on the shock of this whole thing to try to round the people up and all that and uh, I just you know yeah well we're going to see a lot of people just falling over dead in the streets it's going to be a time of of, of, of you know biblical proportions <laughs> if you dare even leave your home the Lord may keep people in their homes for three months I believe it's going to go on for three months uh, from March April and May uh, maybe even even earlier January it might be extended five months are you talking are you thinking this happening this coming year uh, 2006, 
2006. Okay. Yeah, I'm just watching them, see what they're, let's see what how they're playing. But it seems to me like, yeah, 2006 is the year to go with this. You can't drag on this Tamiflu thing for another year. People are going to just die of boredom with it. <laughs> He's got them now. He's getting their attention with the fear tactics. Yeah. And so that's why I think they will go ahead and go with it in, in January and March of 2006. Well, I, I, I felt the same way as far as, because I, when I heard them, uh, the plans for the flu and that then I heard somebody, one, another person say, uh, spread the virus and then they get out. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, you know, this can't go on for, till, till 2008. That's just too long. Well, this particular epidemic is going to last about three months. And, and so that's why uh, one of these things on the Lord had us, you know, had me tell people to stock up. And, yeah. and they may need enough to stock up for three months, staying inside their homes for three months and not going out because uh, they're spreading this thing with chemtrails. Right. Uh, they can put chemtrails anywhere they please. We can't, you know, the only way we can control them now is to orgone the heck out of areas. They can't penetrate my town. I've got too much orgone around here. They can't penetrate my town with orgone, I mean, with chemtrails. But they sure as heck blast Cleveland and Columbus and the other places in my state. Yeah, but I'm covered. I can't cover everything. No, I mean I would if it was free. This stuff isn't cheap. No, it's t- it takes a lot of supplies to make this stuff. It's expensive. I've got to get on your website and find out how to make this. Yeah, and you know, orgoneblasters. dot com has a make your own link. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I and I'm here for questions or what? You know, people send me where do I get this? Where can I find that? Uh, you know, and the, once you start making, once you make your first batch and get over the big hump of making your first one, you're set and ready to go. Okay. They're very easy. If I could, you know, if I could do it, anybody can. Well, I know that um, the uh, a friend of mine who has had problems with these uh, aliens uh, entities, uh, I believe he was using something like Orgon. They are allergic to it. Yeah, and it, it was uh, it was helpful. Yeah. Um, I've so seen allergic reaction to it in the codes all the time, and to them, they consider it a contamination. <laughs> ah. So that's good for us. Sure. <laughs> So yes. then we're contaminating the air with this orgone. Yes. Because they, they I also want to remind people of this this because I've heard salt at least five times from different people as it, it, one one of them was Fa, uh, Fauci, Fauci, I think is they call him. He's the um, man who's going to be uh, I'm going to see if I can't pull this one up so I can actually play it for you. Um, he's uh, a part of the bird flu thing. He's a, a director of uh, health in in some capacity within the government, and he talks about uh, salt. It will roll it roll it out. I think he says. Um, let's this see. has to be that pure sea salt or something. Yeah, I would get sea salt. You know, yeah. you may as well just get the right stuff. Just get and the right. Uh, oh, now I'm not going to be able to find it. But um, he he does say um, that. Uh, well, let's see. I heard five, at least five times, this salt thing. So I really think it's, it's something just to really you know, pay attention to. And yeah. I would just make a, a you know solution. And I've done this with science. So just sniff it up your nose. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Peggy. Our show's winding down now. Okay, Sherry. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you for asking me. I enjoyed it. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. You take care. Okay. You too. Bye. 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 That wraps up the show tonight, folks. I just love having her on here. I know it's been an informative two hours. Gotten a lot of information out tonight. Uh, we'll have the transcript up on the show in about a week. Get it off my site. Until then, you can stay up to date on what's going on at my blogger, sherryshriner.blogspot.com. Till next week, everybody, God bless.